Okay, so those of you that um, had me last semester, you'll um, know the routine of doing uh, creativity challenges. In photo, though, it is a little different. So I wanted to share with you guys um, the procedures of what you'll follow for this first creativity challenge since we won't be meeting um, in class today. Um, so the first, uh, second slide, actually, um, I want to just go over what the creativity challenge is all about. Um, you will need your cell phone to do this challenge. Um, you will be shooting in um, black and white. Um, you can shoot in color if you don't know how to do that, since I wasn't um, able to show you guys how to use a black and white setting on your phone. So you can shoot these in color, and then we can change it to black and white later. Um, but you need to find objects that um, you can photograph to become letters. Um, you are not allowed to compose the letters yourself, so they need to be found naturally. And it can't be typed or handwritten. This is a crop, your first cropping exercise. So once we get the images in, I'll show you what to do um, as far as cropping goes. We're gonna eliminate most of the background on these. So don't worry too much about um, setting up your camera. This is really just your first practice at um, this type of challenge. I do want you to think about the lighting though, and then the contrast as you're photographing things. So you really want a contrast of the thing that you're photographing and the background to be very different. Um, and then we'll later turn your letter to black and white. It'll increase the contrast. In slide three, here's some of the examples that uh, you could do. The top one is actually in color. These were all done in color. Um, this is before the cropping and the editing of black and white was completed. But you can see it spells O-H-I-O. Here's the letter G. Here's the letter S. So you kind of get the idea. Um, these photos are going to be due Friday, January 22nd. You'll submit this in Schoology. Um, with your image on the next slide. So you're gonna add your image here on slide five. Um, those of you that don't know how to do that, you can go to insert image, you upload from your computer, you can upload from your Google Drive if you're taking it from um, a phone. I would suggest uh, going ahead and getting the Google Drive app so you can upload those into there. And then you'll hit submit in Schoology. Let me know if you have questions. Good luck. I can't wait to see what you come up with Friday.